Hello everyone. Uh, today I'd like to um, show you how you can use ebooks for online teaching. Okay. Online teaching, when you think of online teaching, um, I know some teachers are scared, worried, right, confused. Um, if you feel that way, um, don't worry because I'm going to show you how you can do it in an easy way. Okay, so let's get started. So, where are the ebooks? Okay, you can find the ebooks on eSmartClass.net. Okay, that's eFutures platform that you can use. If you use eFuture books, uh, we provide uh, the platform for free. Okay, it's free to use. Um, so if you register, you can use all the ebooks there. Okay, so please visit the platform and try for yourself. Okay, is my class.net. So if you go there, you can see all these ebooks. Okay, so here we have hand in hand ebooks for all levels, and here we have um, school phonics ebooks for all levels. Okay, of course, you can find other um, ebooks there. So, how to register? You need to register in order to use the ebooks. Okay, uh, we made step-by-step uh, -step guide videos. Okay, so you can watch the videos and you can register. Okay, it's very easy to follow, and you can find the videos on eFuture YouTube channel. Okay, here. So go to YouTube and search eFuture, then you can find all these videos. Okay, so now you registered on our platform and you have the ebooks okay now uh, let's find out how you can use the ebooks okay so all you need is your laptop okay you don't need to have those fancy uh, machines or technology okay you just have a platform like zoom okay zoom is very popular i heard and it's free okay and you can even do this on skype Okay, as long as you have a screen sharing uh, function, then you can use that platform. Okay, so you have Zoom or any other platform, and you have the ebooks. Okay, and you need your laptop. Okay, so here, open the ebook, share the screen with your students, and teach the lesson. That's all you have to do. Okay, so this is your laptop, and this is the ebook. Okay, so you're teaching um, using the ebook. Okay, and here's the student. Okay, he's at home. Okay, so the students at home learn the lesson online. Okay, they'll be looking um, on their laptop. Okay, and then they'll be listening to you. They'll follow the lessons. Okay, and then they can do the work in their book. Okay, so students will have a student book and maybe workbook as well. Okay, so they can do the work on their book. Okay. Now, this is um, a different version. Okay, if you want to record your lessons, this is what you have to do. Okay, you have your laptop and your TV and you have your mobile phone. Okay, so you just need these three things. Okay, so you'll be using your laptop, okay, and you look at the ebooks on your laptop. But you can connect your laptop to your TV, okay, and show the ebook on the TV, okay, and then you can record the, uh, the lessons using your mobile phone, okay, and after the recording, you can send the videos to your students so your students can watch the video. Okay, and then they can do the work in their book. Okay, or if you want to try live lessons, okay, you can broadcast uh, your lessons live, real time. Okay, using uh, Facebook or Instagram. Okay, you can use any other um, social network um, services. Okay, so easy. You don't need any fancy um, machines, right? You need your laptop, TV, and your mobile phone. Okay? Um, now, how to check students' work? This is important because you'll be teaching online and students will be doing their work in their book, right? So how do you check their work? Here are my suggestions. 
have students take a photo and send it to you. Okay, so when students complete their work, they can take a photo and they can send it to you. Or have students make a video and share it with the class. Okay, these days kids are very good with, um, you know, using mobile phones, they can make their own videos. Okay, and you can share that with your class. Okay, or you can have parents check the students work. Um, this one, uh, I'm not sure. Maybe some parents are willing to check the work, some parents maybe not. Okay, in that case, I think the first option is uh, probably the best. Okay, have your students take a photo and then send it to you. So they can take a photo like this. Okay, they can do the work, take a photo and send it to you. Then you can check. Okay, and uh, we have a free uh, mobile app for review and extra practice. Okay, so you can download the app and then students can um, do some more practice using the mobile app. Okay, so what can you do with the ebooks? Okay, now you have your laptop, your TV, and the mobile phone. You are ready to um, teach the lessons online, right? And you want to use the ebooks. What can you do with the ebooks? You can listen to the audio. Okay, you can ask students to repeat. You can watch the animations. Or you can show the digital flashcards. And you can check the answers together. Okay, and I'm going to show you all these different functions. Okay, we'll actually look at the ebook and I'm going to show you how you can use these different functions. Okay, it's very easy to do it, you just have to click the um, icon. Okay, so let's check out the ebook. Okay, so go to eSmartClass.net and register. Okay, then you can see the ebooks like this. Okay, and let's look at the ebooks together. Okay, now we are um, in our eSmart class. Okay, and you have all these ebooks. Okay, so let's look at Hand in Hand Book 1 today. Okay, so this is Hand in Hand Book 1 ebook. And we have functions like all these, right? You can write and you can erase. But let's not worry about that today. Okay, let's just focus on the functions uh, that you can use in your class. So here, let's go to um, unit 6, okay? So we start the lesson with a conversation, then you can click on it, and you will see this play button for audio, right? And you can see that button for animation, okay? So let's try the audio. A. Listen and repeat. Then act out with friends. Okay, so you can listen to the audio. Or if you want to watch the animation, you just have to click this button here. Okay, let's watch the animation together. What's your favorite fruit? I like bananas. What about you? I like bananas too. Okay, did you enjoy that animation? Okay, so uh, you can do the main conversation part, right, using the audio and the animation, right? You can also do the song. So if you click the song, again, you have the audio and the animation, okay? So let's watch the animation for the song. practice the, uh, the target, right? So here's the song and let's look at this section, okay? So you can enlarge the section so that student can see uh, the section on their screen. So here we have the audio here, right? And you can also check the answers here. Okay, let's listen to number one. Hi Jumbo. Hello Dale. 
Hi, Jumbo. Hello, Dido. So it's number two, right? So students will write number two in their book. Okay? Let's try number two. How are you, Jumbo? I'm okay. Thank you. How are you, Jumbo? I'm okay, thank you. So how are you, Jumbo? Number four. So students will write number four in their book. Okay, so after completing the activity, you can check the answers together. If you click that button, answers, then you can see the answers, right? Number two, number four, number one, number three. Then students can check um, their answers in their book. Okay? So that's um, checking the answers. Now let's move on to the next page. Here we have words and grammar, and here we have flashcards. Right? We have the digital flashcards in the game. Okay, so let's look at the flashcards. Look at the picture. Okay, what are they? They are apples. And you can listen to the sounds. Apples. Apples. And if you click the picture again, and you can see the word, okay, apples. And then move on to the next card. Listen to the sound, bananas, bananas. And look at the word, bananas. Okay, so you can go on like that to look at all the um, flashcards. Okay, so these are the target um, words of this lesson. And you can play the games. Okay, this is a matching game. You have to match the word with the picture. Okay, so uh, maybe you can ask your students to give two numbers, okay, or student can type um, two numbers, okay, if you have a little uh, chat window, okay. So let's say uh, number one and number seven. Let's try number one and number seven. Number one, what are they? Grapes, they are grapes. Number seven, bananas, okay, it's not a match. So we'll try again, okay. Can you give two numbers? Okay, students will probably say, uh, let's say number four and number ten. Okay, so let's look at number four. What are they? Oranges. Number ten. Watermelons, right? It's not a match. So you keep playing to find the match. Okay? And if you press reset button, the, the cards will be mixed. Okay, so you can play the games again and again. Okay, so that's the game function. So I think I covered all the functions. Okay, you can listen to the audio, you can watch the animation, you can look at the digital flashcards, you can play game, and you can check the answers. Okay, so these are the basic functions of the ebook. Okay, it's very easy to use, you just have to click and you just have to share your screen with your students. Okay? So I hope this is um, useful for you and I hope you can enjoy your online teaching using our ebooks. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you. Bye-bye.